welcome back to another video. Today we are delving into the world of Fortnite. Remember, if you enjoy the video, to so please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more new content, and without further ado, let's get on in to the video. Today we are creating Rook. This is a three-part series, so make sure you check out the other videos where I continue to turn myself into Fortnite characters. Personally, <laughs> I'm not very good at video games. When I say that, I mean absolutely awful. Don't believe me? Well, this is what happened when I tried to play Fortnite for the first time. Yeah, let's just say I'm gonna need a lot of practice if I'm going to graduate from being a video game watcher to an actual player. Regardless, I do love the characters that come along with the games. I think they're super fun and unique and perfect for recreating through cosplay. So, for this character, I decided to paint the glasses on because why not? Of course, you could always just, you know, buy a pair of glasses, but where's the fun in that? Am I right? Am I right? All right. So to do this, I'm simply painting the frames and lenses on in their base colors, making sure to have the main lines of the frames not sinking into my normal facial curves. This just makes the lines seem more rigid and straight and also not painted onto my face. Basically, we need to give the illusion that this is an actual pair of glasses, since that's pretty much what we're going for. Once our base colors are down, we're going to go ahead and complete the rest of our eye makeup. Rook looks like she's rocking a small winged eyeliner on her top lids and a bit of black liner smudged underneath her bottom lashes. This helps to give her a badass look while also maintaining her flight attendant like work casual style. Now I'm just taking some eyeshadow and patting it on top of all of the eyeliner we just put down. Since we're wearing glasses, there should be a slight film of yellow over the black to signify the lenses being there. Taking an orange-ish yellow shade, I'm going to go ahead and start shading the darker areas of the lenses. I'm using a reference photo for this to make things a little bit easier for me. Taking a taupe colored eyeshadow, I'm then going to add some shading beneath the lenses. Ideally you want to focus on the area where the glasses may actually come into contact with your face normally since this is where they will be shadowing. Once our shading is done, it's time to line. I'm using a light orangey brown color to finely line the lenses of the glass. This will help to distinguish the edges of the lenses to again give off a 3D effect. Finally, I went in with some white body paint to add some highlights to the lenses to make things look a little more realistic. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the white paint in to blur the edges and soften the color to give it more of like a glare look as opposed to like a stark white line. We're going for a bit of realism here, not quite as cartoony as the actual character, so this just kind of helps with that. Now, looking at a reference photo of Rook, for some reason, she has what looks like to be reddish shadows around her nose and the corners of her lips. I'm not sure if this is meant to be just a contour or perhaps Rook's character is just very emotional or maybe has severe allergies. Not quite sure, but regardless, we're gonna go ahead and do the same because there's no half-assing around here. We're definitely gonna go full out. Now to top off our I just got over a cold look, I'm adding a nice red lip to finish off the face. Maybe not quite finished. I realized that my eyebrows were a wee bit too light for this look, and like I said, we don't have fast things around here, so let's fix that, shall we? Ah yes, much better. Now on to the clothes. Oh. 
I find the best way to do this is to paint larger blocks of color down first, then go in with a shading and then outline everything. Here I'm starting to outline the colored shirt that she's wearing. And while we're at it, I might as well go ahead and say, no, I'm not naked, you weirdos. Gotta keep it all PG up in here, you know what I'm saying? This angle just so happens to make things look a little more promiscuous than they actually are, but you know, say la vie. Anyways, the point is nothing crazy is happening here. No siree. Good, now that we have that all cleared up, time for some outlining. This is my favorite step since this is where a blob of color becomes more structured into, I don't know, an actual design. my camera decided to cut out so unfortunately you do not get to see how the entire outlining took place but this is what it looks like in the end <laughs> sorry I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more new content this is part one of three so stay tuned for the other characters that I try to create and thank you all for watching I will catch you all later. Bye!